everybody in YouTube land. This is me, Dream Boy, back for another video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to review my new TV I just bought about a week and a half ago called the TSL Roku TV. I'll be reviewing the 32 inch class 720p LED smart TV. Uh, as you see, I have the box right here. I just got this about a week ago. And even my cat likes it. So maybe she's going to mess around with it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I've been using a 19-inch TV uh, for the past uh, six years because um, it really just worked for me just fine. You know, here for like a bedroom TV. But I got tired of having a, such a small screen, and uh, so I decided it was time to upgrade. So, you know, but you know, I was on a very, very tight budget. So, I let my cat out real quick here. She was asleep, and I woke her up with the video. So, <laughs> pretty much. Um, yeah, like I said, I was looking for a new TV, uh, but I don't want to spend too much money on it because, you know, TVs are really expensive, and I'm, I want a very, very tight budget right now. I, can't, I couldn't afford anything like in the, you know, 300 and up range. And most TVs of this size are, you know, you're rare to find a 32-inch TV for under 200 bucks. but I found this one at my local Costco um, for around 169 After tax, is about 185 total, and uh, it was just too good to pass up. And I trust Costco. Uh, they back up their shit. Uh, they even have a two-year warranty that's longer than the manufacturer's warranty. So I totally know I, could, you know, I trust them to, to make this purchase. So, and I've been familiar with Roku for a while now. Uh, just in case you're not familiar with Roku, which I don't think anybody really is, but just in case you're not, pretty much they're like the top-of-the-line streaming players for cord cutters. You know, they, they allow you to uh, access Netflix, HBO, Hulu, Amazon Video, all kinds of different apps on your TV. Um, I got my first one back in 2013, and I, I fell in love uh, ever since then. So, um, pretty much, this TV has Roku built into it. Um, you know, so, so instead of attaching a player to it, um, it comes with the software. But they're pretty much like a smart TV. That's pretty much what it is. But it has the Roku software on it, which is a lot better than any smart TV I've seen on the market. Because um, I did my research, and most of them, I mean, they all have the main apps like Netflix, but. Uh, Roku has a bunch of different, and even a lot of free apps as well. So, um, Roku is definitely probably the best smart TV you can buy on the market. So, pretty much, uh, now this TV is 720p. So, if you're a strong uh, videophile, you probably would not love this TV, but I'm not, you know. As long as I can watch my shows in decent enough quality, that's all I care about, you know. And uh, this TV uh, is perfect for that. So, I have it set up right here. Uh, of course, this, this is my Blu ray screen. I, I like the Amazon Video app. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me get down here. There, that's better. <laughs> I was watching uh, Sunday Anarchy, one of my favorite shows. So they got Jacks right there. But, uh, anywho, yeah, I like the Amazon Video app on my Blu-ray player. Uh, that's my Panasonic Blu-ray player right there. I like it a lot better than my, uh, you know, the one on the Roku. The one on the Roku is not bad, but this one's just a lot more organized, but I'm going to take you guys to the home screen here. So this is what the Roku TV uh, main menu looks like. And the one thing I love about this TV is that all your inputs are like just like the apps on, 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 the, on the Roku. Like here, my, my Blu-ray player. I click on this, it takes me right to my Blu-ray player. No uh, switching inputs or stuff like that on the remote. And it's all simplified. Even the remote, simplified. this is how the remote looks like. You have a pair on button, uh, down and up arrows, um, you have the volume up and down, and you have the mute right here. Um, this right here uh, changes your picture quality. You press the star button, and you have all kinds of uh, different options to change your settings and stuff like that. You know, so it's really probably the most simplest remote I've ever used for a TV. You know, most TVs come like a shit ton of buttons on them, and uh, this one has like no number pad at all. It's all just like this. Like any Roku player will know this is how any remote. My Roku looks like, and it's very simple to work the TV with. I, I was kind of shocked how easy it was at first. This even works for the uh, antenna. I don't have an antenna hooked up to it right now, but um, it's pretty cool because I will say, let's go to the antenna option here. Let's say I hook up to an antenna to it, and uh, it has a built in digital tuner with it. So um, since I don't have a number pad, let's say I want to scroll fast to the channels, all you got to do is press the left arrow. And uh, it'll bring up all your local channels in here. And you can switch pretty fast. But if, you, if you're the kind of person that loves to just, uh, 
type in the channel number. You can buy a universal remote to work with it, but um, the Roku remote works just fine for me for this. So let me get back on here. So this is the main menu. This is how this is how any Roku player uh, looks like. They have a lot of shit ton of apps right here. As you can see here, here's the here's their channel store right here. They have new, most popular, top three Roku romance search channels, movies and TV, TV everywhere, games, music apps. There's all kinds of shit you can think of. Um, way more than any smart TV you can get out there in the market, like I said. Whether it be Samsung, Sony, um, they literally have everything, you know. Some of the main ones I use are all on the top right here, like uh, Netflix, YouTube, Vudu, Network, W Network, Sling TV, Hulu, Amazon Video, iHeartRadio, Cinema Now. Pandora, HBO Now, Showtime, and Vivo. They're all, these are all the main apps I use right here. So, pretty much, I like how it's, it's all personalized. I like this TV makes, <laughs> TV watching is so much more enjoyable because it has everything that I ever wanted to use on TV front and center. And I know pressing buttons. And the cool thing is that since the Roku TV is actually built in, um, this TV comes with three HDMI ports. So, you know, since the Roku TV is built into the fucking thing, um, you know, you have three HDMI ports that are free to yourself to hook up with your PS4, uh, Blu-ray player, uh, or if you want to try like a different media player, like an Apple TV or something like that, you could do that. Um, you know, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you want to hook up a sound bar to it, stuff like that. So it's, it's a, for a budget TV, there's, there's a lot to it. And some of the comments I read about this TV is like it's only good for like a, you know, Roku streaming is not good as a regular TV. And I disagree. You can do anything with a regular TV that you can do with this TV. Uh, you can watch, you can hook up a Blu-ray player, like I said. You can hook up an antenna to it. Um, it all works just like a regular TV. Um, and even if you don't, even if you don't have internet, you can still use your uh, local apps, like you know, your Blu-ray player, your antenna. Uh, if you have a cable box, I one thing I forgot to mention. You can't hook up a cable box to it. Um, the Roku remote will not control your cable box. Uh, you have to use your uh, cable remote or your satellite dish or remote. Whenever you hook up to it. So it, it, it works just like a regular TV. But like I said, if you're a strong video file, audio file, this TV will probably not be for you. But for a basic bedroom TV for what I want to use it for, um, or even even a main living room TV, if you're not like, you know, like, expect so much, um, and you're fine with the 720p and stuff like that, you don't need no top of the line shit, uh, this TV is just really awesome. It really is. Um, I love it. You know, I'm just going to go back to my Blu-ray player here. And it loads up pretty fast as well, like I said. So, yeah, this is the TSL Roku TV 32-inch. I don't know if I mentioned it before. Uh, for, for one, for me, it's nice to have a bigger screen for once. <laughs> Makes watching TV just so much more enjoyable. And like I said, for 720p, it's just the, the quality is decent enough. You know, the, the, it's not the, the picture quality is not well, top like a Samsung or a Sony, but it's passable. Which is good enough for me, you know. I just want a TV that works, that plays my shit, you know. So, like I said, if you want to have a basic, decent TV to watch, and you don't want to spend too much money on a TV, you can find a TV at Costco. Uh, you can find it on Amazon for about the same price. And uh, they both have free shipping. And, uh, yeah, for an under $20 TV, you, you can't find it better than this. Like I said, it comes with three HDMI ports. Uh, it comes with a USB port, which I forgot to mention, but I mainly use my uh, Blu-ray player's USB port for that. Um, it comes with a headphone jack. Unfortunately, unlike the Roku 3, there is no headphone jack on the remote itself, so uh, that kind of sucks. But um, You can hook up a headphone jack to it. I recommend getting a headphone cord extender, because like the, the headphone cord jack is kind of hidden way behind the TV. So that probably won't, depending on how you're far you're sitting from the TV, it probably won't reach as far. But other than that... And it's all the basic things you need out of a TV and more. So, I love it. So, yeah, this is going to be my uh, TV for hopefully for a long while. I'm sure it's going to last. Because Roku, unlike other smart TVs, they actually update their shit, their software over time. So, you got to worry about the shit getting outdated, you know. So, if you're a Roku lover and uh, you're a cord cutter mainly, this is a TV to get right here. Roku TV, TSL Roku TV 32-inch. Check it out.